Hey friends, let's paint a cute little hummingbird on a cute little four inch by four inch canvas from Michaels. I've already got it transferred on there. I'll link the reference photo in this video's description. Okay, let's have some fun. Here's my photo. Uh, the photographer is Ray Harrington. I scribbled on it. I cropped it and scribbled. I'm going to put a branch instead of this green leaf. Um, it's on Unsplash and I'll link it in this video's description. Isn't that fun? So I'm going to follow the photo pretty closely, which I think you guys might like. So I've put out some burnt umber. Burnt umber. And some red oxide. You could put out um, some red and mix a red oxide. And then I'm just gonna use a half inch flat brush from Michaels. It's their Craft Smart line and I'm gonna paint, I'm, I'm gonna, since I'm following the photo, I'm gonna paint brown down in the corner. Actually, I'm gonna probably paint a little directional stroke because we have more space over here. Might put a little red in there. I'm already changing my mind. And I'm gonna paint around the hummingbird. And we're gonna keep it simple. Nothing too, too complicated. I just grabbed a little water and a little red oxide. I might um, get in there with a littler brush because I don't wanna lose I uh, transfer. I, I printed out the photo at um, four by four size, so it, it's the same size as the canvas. Cropped it, and then just traced the photo instead of making it traceable. And I think I'm going to get in there with a little brush. I'm going to time lapse painting the background because I'm going to keep it simple, and then I'll be back in a bit. Hey, I thought I'd pop in. I put out some, well, titanium white. I don't think I put that out. Um, I think I put that out when I was doing the time lapse. I also put out some phthalo blue green shade. Oh, my cat wants out of my studio now. And I put out some raw sienna. Oh yeah, there's freckles. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. So I use some of the thalo blue and burnt umber and it makes kind of a greenish color, green gray. Um, you can mix it to a closer gray depending on the um, amount of blue versus the amount of brown. And I painted the branch. So it's kind of a gray blue. There's some brown in it. And then I took, oh, I used a eighth inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a number four artist loft. And now I'm, I took a little red oxide and a little raw sienna and I'm just starting to hint at the throat and the belly of the hummingbird. Here, take a look. That's all I'm doing. Just getting some paint down. Oh, I was gonna, I mentioned I was gonna follow the background. I didn't totally follow the background on the reference photo because as the acrylic paint dries, it shrinks. I don't know if you can see it, like there's a little teeny spot right there. I'm going to grab some paint. And then so part of the white canvas pops through. 
So I put more layers on it and then the background changes a bit. I really like it. I really like the, the colors. I think it's really pretty. See, now I see a couple of more white spots. So I've been working on this for, oh gosh. I'm, I'm working on another painting at the same time. Um, I've been working on it for a couple hours already. So just to, just so you don't think that I paint these backgrounds super fast. It takes a while to get the layers on and get it covered well. Okay, I probably didn't want to do that. It's too dark of a color. <laughs> right now we got to fix it. Okay guys, I'm going to keep working on this uh, hummingbird and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, just a couple thoughts. I added cad yellow medium hue to my palette. So then I could mix some limey greens with the um, phthalo blue green shade. And I mixed some aquas. So that's, I think that's pretty. And then I'm just taking a little eighth inch flat brush and just hint, I'm not gonna paint every feather, but I'm hinting at the shapes of the feathers. coming along. Oh, I made the eye happier. The eye has a little bit of an angry look to it because it has that angle right on top of it. So I'm making mine a little happier. Actually, it looks a little sleepier too. Okay, I think that's all I really need to say. I'm just, I'm working on the values and this was bothering me, but starting to look better. better. It just needed some layers. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm done. I'm looking at it and I, I 
So with most paintings, especially these little ones, I'm right on top of them and I don't like it, but gosh, when I look through my phone, the colors are really pretty. I really like that. Um, the eye turned out well. I made it a little rounder and happier. Here, maybe you guys want a closer look. If my phone will focus. So these are just blobs, blobs of color. And I painted the branch onto the back. Oh, and I painted that, I think it's, that's a wing onto the side. I'm just kind of looking at it. I think I'll like it a lot better in the morning. I think I just need to, I've been working on it most of the afternoon, so I suppose this took me, oh, four, four hours to paint. <laughs> Not terribly fast, that's why I'm chuckling. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. It's so fun for me to share my art journey with you. And it's really fun for me to, when you guys share your artwork with me and my Facebook group. I just, it's so fun to have art friends. I super appreciate your support. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.